Hey, what's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985 and this is my review of Transformers Generation Scourge. So here's a look at Scourge in his recon jet mode, which is very nice. I like it because it reminds me a lot of a futuristic looking spacecraft or space shuttle. And it also has landing gear, which is nice. The other design element that I like is the way that the tips of the wings are arched down as you can see right there. Alright, so let's take a look at the old Generation 1 toy. This is the G1 Scourge toy. As you can see, the colors match up pretty well, especially the dark blue. Now, I wish they would have used the light blue that you can see in the Generation 1 toy on the new Generations toy. So, instead of having the white on the wings, it would have been nice to have that light blue. Now, on the old Generation 1 toy, unfortunately, I'm missing the weapon that goes on top there. Now, one of the nice features of the new Generation Scourge is you can actually pop up his head in flight mode, which is a nice reference to what happens in the cartoon. If you watch the Generation 1 cartoon, occasionally Scourge will pop his head up during flight mode. So, a really nice uh, feature on Hasbro's part that they actually engineered that into the toy. And as you can see here you, on the old toy, you can flip the faceplate forward and you can reveal Scourge's face. But uh, let's move on to transformation. The first thing I'm going to do is bring up the head, rotate it up, and bend down the wings. Now, the wings themselves are attached via a central piece of plastic. They're all in one assembly. So as you pull out the wings, that central plastic piece will also come off, as you can see there. For now, I'm just going to leave it hanging on the back. I'm not going to actually tab it in place, as I will show you later. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push up the chest. It actually just pushes up. You actually use some little bit of force. And you make, want to make sure you actually snap it in place. And for the head, you want to make sure it's all the way extended up, as you can see there, so that the chin actually is higher up than it was before. Alright, so now we're going to transform the legs here. Pull out the legs. They can be a little bit stiff, especially the first time that you transform this figure. Rotate the waist. Rotate the legs. And bring out the feet. You kind of want to push down and out to get the uh, actual feet out. And then what you want to do on the back that little piece rotates up and should sit flush against the backside of Scourge in his robot mode. So moving on to the arms. The arms are a bit of interesting transformation. As you can see, you take those two pieces out at the ends, rotate them out, and they're actually attached to a piece of plastic that you also pull out, as you can see there, rotate them around, and make sure you push it back in as well, like so. Rotate the elbow around, and the wrists or the hands come out on a slider mechanism. And you just simply do the same thing on the other side. Pull out, rotate, and push back in. Rotate the forearm around and bring out the hand. Okay, so now I'm going to tab that back section that whole assembly into the back of Scourge. There's a couple tabs, you want to just tab it in place and make sure you have that little thruster looking thing go through the little hole in that assembly there. And the really cool part about this toy is it has, yes, weapon storage. And that's a really nice feature. And I can't remember, at least I can't remember any Transformer that has this feature where you can actually store the weapons uh, in the actual transformation. So if you guys know about anything like that, just let me know. I'd be interested to find out. But it's a really cool feature to have weapons storage. And you want to tab in the wings. There's a little slot in the back that they tab into. Alright, so here's basically Scourge in his robot mode. Now, 
Some people like to leave the wings like this. I personally don't. I prefer to fold them up, even though that subtracts from the actual transformation process. And here's a little 360 action. Articulation wise, the head rotates, shoulders rotate as well. Bend at the elbow, the hands rotate, rotation at the waist, ball jointed hips, bend at the knee, and there's articulation at the ankle. And as you can see, he can wield his two weapons as two separate weapons or they can be combined into one cool looking blaster. Like so. Alright, so here's a comparison of Generation Scourge and G1 Scourge in the robot modes. As I said before, unfortunately G1 Scourge is missing the little weapon that goes atop of his head. Unfortunately, sadly, I don't have that. And here's a close-up look at Scourge's head sculpt. Fantastic looking head sculpt. I like it a lot. Even the old Generation 1 head sculpt is pretty detailed. So, very nice uh, job on Hasbro's part of recreating uh, the Generation Scourge, you know, toy. I really like that. Alright, so here's a, a bit of an interesting feature. Uh, here's a shot of Scourge from the actual animated cartoon. And as you can see, his, basically his fingertips are red. Now, if we take a look at the toy, you can see there's also red there on his fingertips, which is a really, really nice homage to the portrayal in the cartoon. So fantastic job again on Hasbro's part of actually including that feature. My final thoughts on Transformers Generation Scourge. I recommend you go out and buy it. It's a nice Transformer toy. It, even if you're not a Generation 1 fanboy like myself, it's a recommended figure. The transformation is simple. The transformation is fun. It's just a nice, nice figure. The only thing I would change about it, if I could, was the white. You know, the white color. It would have been nice if that was a light blue to match the Generation 1 toys color. Other than that, it's a fantastic figure, a very nicely updated figure. Like I said before, I like the fact that you can pop up Scourge's head in flight mode or alt mode because as we, you know, as Generation 1 fans know, the head is often seen popping up in the cartoon. You know, he'll be in, in flight and Scourge's head will be popped up in invisible. The other thing I mentioned before, of course, is the homage in the cartoon to the red fingertips. You can see that in the cartoon, and they incorporated it into the toy. Fantastic job, Hasbro. Continue on with the, with the Generations line. Uh, please don't neglect the Generations line just because the movie figures are about to come out. Keep up the good work on the Generations line slash Reveal the Shield line. All right. This has been Lycus1985 with my review of Transformers Generations Scourge. Thanks for watching.